Hey everybody, it is me, Knight, and, uh, well, doing another video, and obviously it's a Loot Crate one. Um, this time, Loot Crate DX, like I said yesterday, I was planning to get it today, and that's why I got it. As you can see, it's a big-ass box. Alright, I need to move this out of the way for a moment. Hopefully I'll stay right there. It's hanging off the edge. I got a lot of stuff on this, I gotta clean this up. Um... Anyway, this is minor damages onto the box. Um, yeah. That's a big-ass box. <laughs> um, this was also called Power. It's supposed to have a Marvel item, but it was also going to have some other special items into it. So let's see what we got. Seems like the tape here got a little damaged. Imagine dropped or something like that. I hope there was no electronic stuff in here. But it didn't say anything about fragile on this thing, so we'll see. All right, here we go again with this. I do like that they do that. Thank you. Do that. Oh, I see a baseball cap. I see it. Thank you. All right, so we got a hat of Captain America. Which is really, really nice. I have to admit, I do like that. Um, we later. I'm not a big fan of Captain America, personally. I know from the Civil War box from uh, Collector's Core, I kind of said that Captain America was not my, f my favorite uh, Marvel hero. But... We got a mixture of them, um, because we just also got Iron Man. Apparently this is from Iron Man 2. And it can... Let's see. Oh, there you go. It lights up in the middle there. It's not too bad. Does it also light up his hand? No. So yeah. It says 100% metal heavy... Figure, metal die casts of Iron Man. I actually love this. This is kind of cool. And it's a variant. Um, it's his Iron Man 2 variant. Um, which, that's quite awesome. I like it. This seems to be the one he used against the villain in the racetrack? Yeah, I think that's what it was. So, that seems to take care of the Marvel items. Again, two Marvel items. Okay, so we got the shirt. With... Oh, yeah, I forgot. He-Man was one of these. With Skeletor. It's like a logo, actually. Like a... Oh, what is it? Like a... Like a sports team logo with Skeletor's face on it? I like it. Um... I never was a big fan of, uh, what was it, He-Man at all, like, the show. Just wasn't. Well, technically I never grew up, grew up watching that show either. Like, I've seen episodes of it, I just never grew up watching it. Mainly because I just really didn't think it was that all that great. I know a lot of people liked it, but to me it wasn't one of those things. Okay, so we do have more stuff underneath. That's good. Okay, so this was the pen. Oh, I'll get to that. This was the pen that had Stan Lee on it. You can see him right in the middle there. Um, this is the one he announced. Um, I was wondering, I thought this was in the previous power, in the smaller power crate. I didn't know it was in this particular one. Okay. It is nothing special about it other than his face is on it. <laughs> so, now that we got that out of the way. Put that right there. Street Fighter Academy. This seems to be a bag. It's a duffel bag. Small duffel bag, but it's a duffel bag nonetheless. Um, why did it have it all open? It'd be easier if you had it all closed up on this front. Especially with something like this. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Street Fighter Academy. Established in 1987. <laughs> um, and it's got a very pixelated look. 
and it shows the Hadouk and um and uh, button presses because you can actually kind of see that on there. The arrows and the, I think punch. So yeah, it's a duffel bag, and as you can kind of see, it's a small duffel bag. I don't mind this. This is actually kind of cool. Um, I don't need it though. <laughs> But, like, that's kind of the case for most of this stuff. It's not necessarily a need, it's more of a want. And that seems to be a poster. Um, I see what the poster is of. Another Marvel item. But yeah, I like this. This is kind of cool. Um, so let's see, we got a shirt and a hat and a duffel bag and a figure. And a poster here of. A Bruce Banner slash Hulk. But it's not like the movie one. This looks like a whole different person. Yeah. Robert Bruce Banner, file name the Hulk, Shield, Superhuman Personal Database. And as I said before, it looks like a small poster because. As you can see, nothing else special about it. Uh, my only issue with it is that they didn't properly close it. Hell, the cardboard was coming out of it. Um, but yeah, that seems to be all that there is. Um, we have a little brochure kind of thing. Power. Yeah, that seems to be it. As this shows. So yeah, Excelsior. Um, it's not too bad. I actually kind of like this a lot. Um, only, see, I'm a fan of hats, so this I'll probably wear. Even though I don't like Captain America, I like hats. I like having a variety of hats to wear on any given day. Um, I've been, I should kind of got a, quite a few hats still around. Um, so I'm always psyched to get new hats in my collection like that. Um, I'll put that in there so I don't drop. Um, so this crate actually is kind of awesome. I mean, the shirt itself is awesome. And then, of course, we got this. This thing is probably my favorite item. And seeing on the back what options we had, like we had Captain America Civil War, there was like two different versions of Cap and Iron Man. Um, then we also have like Black Panther and Black Widow and Winter Soldier in that list. And then the, below that we also have like Winter, the Captain America's Winter Soldier version of Cap. Iron Man Mach 2, where he's just... There's no paint job on him. I believe that's the one that was... Taken eventually by... Uh, Rhodes. In the second movie. Because this one's the first movie that they show. And then they had two Deadpool versions. Um, there's X-Force and Norm 1. But, um... I'll take the Iron Man one. I'm a bigger fan of Iron Man anyway. I like that it has a light up fixture in it. Like that. Um, yeah, I don't want to take it out of this. This is the Mark V. Um, weird box design. But yeah, overall, this this crate was pretty good. This is, uh, this one, I, I give it a. Yeah, I give it a 10. I, I think I'm, I'm pretty good at saying that's a 10. So that's back to back 10s. Um, this is what Loot Crate needs to do. The, this crate has got the quality down to a T. They've knocked out twice in a row. So, they just need to continue doing that, with this crate especially. And it might be beneficial to just drop their old crate. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this one seems like a much better overall crate. Everything seems much better more power oriented although to be fair I wouldn't call Captain America power you know I'll call him patriotic and 
uh, justified in his actions, but I would never call him power. Um, because Iron Man uses kind of a electrical use on his suit, so that makes feels more like power. And of course, the LS4 being from He-Man, Defender of <clears throat> the Universe, that one makes sense. Um, especially Skeletor being the villain, you know, that, that totally makes sense. Um, Street Fighter Academy, but Duffel Bag, I love it. Um, I think that is probably my favorite item. I mean, I, I love that figure. That means nothing, though, in comparison to having a Duffel Bag, because there's so many uses for it. Um, especially that kind of design. Now, when you could put a basketball in it and still have, like, your game, like if you're going to go do a basketball game thing, or even do that football or baseball or any t- type of thing, um, you can have your jerseys and everything. Hell, you could take it for uh, tr- business, well, not business trips, but trips out of state where you're going to like a cabin, taking care of the summer vacation, you know? There's use multiple uses for that. And the same thing with the shirt and hat. This is just something you would want to put in the. Um, as a, in your statue case, so as much as my that's my favorite of the two two or three Marvel Marvel items in this, that duffel bag is probably my favorite overall. But again, all these items are great. I love them. This again blowed the fuck out of the water the normal core crate because this is basically the core crate on steroids, um, and um, yeah. I like this much better, where they kind of tell you what it is, and they don't give you this booklet of just random stuff that they do. Um, my only, I might have one little small issue, and that's the fact that it seems too Marvel oriented. I, I again, I'm a big fan of variety. The items are great. It's a ten. The Bruce Banner poster is just a bonus at this point. Um, but we got a hat, and that. That more than enough, probably to see that that hat's probably, I'd say fifteen dollar hat. And since this is made out of metal, this has got to be at least twenty to twenty five dollars. So that's forty dollars roughly at the max, thirty five to forty dollars. And this is not counting the duffel bag and the shirt. The duffel bag's probably a low at about thirty bucks, and the shirt's probably about twenty, maybe even a little bit more. So, they more enough like that poster is more than enough to be bonus. Hell, the shirt's probably bonus at this point. Um, so yeah, overall, it's a ten. I think this crate is a great one. Um, yeah, man, that's pretty much about it. I know I kind of went zoomed through this one pretty quickly, um, but <laughs> I just showed you every item. I reviewed what I thought about them. Um, Again, uh, this just destroyed anything that the core crate's been doing. That's why I canceled it as well. That that was a big part of it. Like this crate just is better. It feels better. It feels right um, for what they are trying to deliver. And this is how a crate should be. It should be very similar to that of the anime crate, the gaming crate, where it feels like we got a big decent amount of variety and not the same stuff over and over and over now I, I eventually think this will eventually get staled down like it'll start going down right now it's just destroying anything that's in the normal core crate but for me right now it's also brand new it's a brand new crate that they put out last month you know um, so I'll give this I'll keep continuing this one I think that it's two for two, very much like how the anime crate was that kept me wanting to continue that anyway. The gaming one is still kind of hit and miss so far, but it has only been about three out, I believe. So we'll see on the next one, which is Dungeon. I know that that's going to have like a 20, like a mini mega crate kind of design to it, where 20 winners could win a ticket to go see E3, which I'm going, I want that. But, yeah. For now, we're going to talk about this one. So, overall, yeah, this is a 10. Um, Is it better than last month? 
it's... Uh, I wouldn't say it was better than last month's. It's still a 10. Um, as these two things, of course, fall down. <laughs> They're not part of the crate. Um, I wouldn't say this is better than last month's. I would say this is probably on par, though. It, it It's equal to last month's, I believe. If not, maybe one millipoint. Like, like it, it's probably a few points lower than it in terms of um, what the other one had. The other one had glasses and stuff that felt like it was very adult oriented. This one still feels, um, based on what we got in here, very still teenage to kid oriented, especially with the comic book hat and figurine that has a light to it. Um, and then, of course, the the Marvel stuff just feels like that. The only thing that feels kind of adult might be the duffel bag. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe the shirt. But, again, this one felt a little bit for a younger audience, especially with Captain America and Iron Man being, well movie characters that kids go see now. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I did enjoy this crate. I, I think this is a good one, and we'll see next month, of course, because I, have a, I bought the three month, but I might buy a... I might upgrade that, because based off what I see here, this seems like a crate that's so totally worth getting from now on. Um... If they continue this, I'll be damn amazed. And you notice I may not have put the duffel bag in here, but it's a duffel bag. What do you want me to do? I'd have to play Tetris with this, and I don't really want to play Tetris. Um, they kept it simple. I, I like that. I like that they kept it simple and easy to uh, see the items in it. And they gave us a nice sense of variety. They gave us a figure, a hat, a shirt, and then they gave us a duffel bag, which is new to that, you know? And then, of course, they gave us a poster just to kind of throw it in. It was really a bonus. They did that last month, I believe, too. But, again, it's it's really nice variety. It, it feels like it all seems to go together. Like, the shirt and hat could go together. Uh, duffel bag could be used as well in that sen uh, sense as well. But, like, Everything seemed to mesh well together. It didn't feel like um, they were just random items just thrown in. Um, and yes, you could say that they are still in a general sense. Um, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like they planned for you to use two of these items at the same time. At least. Uh, like, if you're going on a trip, take the duffel bag, you put the shirt in there, and you can put your hat in there, and whatever else you need to take with you. And the only items that you wouldn't take with you might be the poster and, of course, the figurine. Um, but you could take the figurine and give it as a gift, you know. You can do anything with those. But, again, it doesn't feel like it was all separated. You know, that's what I got from the core crates. Because it just felt like, okay, why did we get this item? Why did we get that item? This doesn't feel like these go together. They just feel like they just kind of said, all this stuff is going to be thrown in. And I'm not saying the normal core crate was ever bad. It just... It was always bland, almost. And that's why I never hit the 10. It got some 9s out of it, meaning that they did some really, really good ones. But they could never get over the hump to that 10, where the DX has just destroyed it, that. And it's been consistent so far. So we'll see next month on the DX one, see if it got better. If they can stay consistent, see... And hit the 10, I might have to readjust my ratings eventually. Um, as far as the anime and gaming ones, I have not got the shipping information those yet. I should be getting them soon. We'll see. Um, they should be out this week at the very earliest. If not, I'll get them next week because they usually release at the end of the month anyway. So, yeah, well, I'm just waiting for them. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, give me feedback. If you think I need to improve my video quality or anything like that, I'll try to do my best to do that. Again, you gotta realize money's tight. 
can't get the highest of uh, quality cameras. I have to use a webcam for this. And, uh, yeah. I hope to see you all next time. Uh, bye.